Olympic investigation with ties to Orange County. World champion swimmer Ariana Kukors accuses her former coach of sexually abusing her as a teen while they trained in Fullerton. Well, today, federal officers scoured Sean Hutchinson's Seattle home and his computer. And tonight, we're hearing from a local coach who says he first reported the rumors about Coach Hutchinson. And CBS 2's Stacy Butler is live in Mission Viejo with the interview you'll only see on 2. Stacy. And Pat, that coach is now the head coach here of the Mission Viejo Natadors. He told me tonight that he remembers Hutchinson as an up and coming coach who drew swimmers set on Olympic gold. But all that changed when rumors started to fly. A fellow coach from back east called me and said that there were rumors going around a swim meet about Sean, and I was shocked. That was eight years ago when Mark Schubert was coaching Olympic hopefuls at the Olympic Training Center in Fullerton with fellow coach Sean Hutchison, who was rumored to be having a sexual relationship with his then 21-year-old swimmer, Ariana Kukors, whom he trained since she was a teen. I felt like I needed to tell somebody. So I told his boss. Schubert says the head coach hired a private investigator to follow Hutchison. All they could come up with was Ariana and Sean's cars parked together at 5 a.m. in the morning in front of his condo. He says Kukors and Hutchison both denied having a sexual relationship, something that is against USA swimming policy. Without proof, Schubert says the coach did what he thought was best and asked Hutchison to leave. I think they came to an agreement that um, they wouldn't divulge the problem if he resigned. Hutchison returned to Seattle to the swim club he owned, King Aquatics. He didn't coach, but he and Kukors apparently lived together in Seattle while she was in her early 20s. Yesterday, just one day after Homeland Security filed this affidavit and searched Hutchinson's Seattle apartment looking for possible evidence of child porn, the Olympian accused him of sexually abusing her as a teen when she swam with Hutchison before coming to Orange County. In a statement, she said, I never thought I would share my story because in so many ways just surviving was enough. I was able to leave a horrible monster and build a life I never could have imagined for myself. But in time, I've realized that stories like my own are too important to go unwritten. Hutchison responded saying, I absolutely deny having any sexual or romantic relationship with her before she was old enough to legally make those decisions for herself. Prior to that time, I did nothing to groom her. And Schubert says that USA Swimming failed miserably in the very investigation that he says he sparked. He hopes the new allegations will bring change. That's the latest from Mission Viejo. Back to you guys in the studio.